So here's my data from investigating the effect of pH on the rate of reaction of amylase enzyme. I'm going to calculate the mean first of all. I've done three tests. So we'll see here to calculate the mean for pH 5, I've done 150, 150, 150 total. And then I've divided the total by 3 because I did it three times and I've got 150. So I'll fill that in here, 150. And if I calculate the rest, 60 plus 60 plus 60, get the total divided by 3, will be 60. Uh, my next one I've worked out to be 30. My next one, 90. And then my next one I can't do in my head, so I will do 120 plus 90 plus 120 equals 330 divided by 3 gives me 110. Now to work out the rate of reaction, you need to do another calculation, which is 1 divided by the time it took. So for pH 5, it took 150 seconds on average. So I do 1 divided by 150 gives me my rate of reaction per second. So I'll write that in, 0 0.007. My next one, I will do on my calculator, 1 divided by 60 equals, and I want it to three decimal places. So we're going with 0 0.017, because you'll see that I've rounded that to a 7. My next one, 1 divided by 30 equals 0 0.033. Then next, 1 divided by 90, 0 0.011. And my last but not least, 1 divided by 110 gives me 0 0.010, because that 9 moves this to a 1, and I've added a 0 on because I wanted it to have three decimal places. So I'm going to plot those now on a graph. Like so. I've started off, I've put my pH scale along the bottom, got my rate of reaction at the sides, and I'm going to go in 0 0.05 scales. So you see I'm going up equally as I go up the scale. So each two little squares is actually worth 0 0.001. So that's 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0.003. 0.004 and 0.005. So I'm going to plot my results like so. So at pH 5, I had a rate of reaction of 0.007. So what we go to 0.005, 6, 7. At 6, I had 0.017. So 0.15, 16, 17. At 7, I had 0.003. Three, one, two, there you go. And then at eight, I had 0.011. That's 10, 11. And at nine, I had 0 0.010. So you'll do a very nice line of best fit. So in this case, it's a curve. And I can conclude now that the fastest or optimum uh, pH was pH 7, you'll see which gave us a 0 0.033 rate of reaction, and therefore amylase works best at that optimum pH of 7.